Hey guys, Matt here. Uh, today's hiking adventure brings me back to Sunny Hill Restoration Area, Preservation Area, whatever it's called. <laughs> but today I'll be doing the South Track. It's not very long, but we had another tropical storm slash hurricane hit the other day, so I wasn't gonna go too far because I'm sure there's gonna be some <laughs> pretty rough conditions out there so I thought I'd do another another one that's not too far away and then hopefully by next week it'll be dried out a lot but this one's just down the road from that other one I did the levee trail and stuff like that for the it's part of the St. John's water management district lands and this one's I definitely tell it's already a little floody. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not gonna drive a long way and then be real bad conditions or some places are still closed and stuff. Some of the parks and land. So I was like, I'll just do one close this week and then should it's supposed to be dry all week. So hopefully by next week, it'll be a lot better conditions we still got pretty good soaking and wind and stuff like that I know the co East Coast took a lot of the, the brunt but since it was only less than two months since Ian hit a lot of lands were still not too good shape <laughs> but so this one's I don't know how far this, this one's probably maybe five to eight miles or something I don't know I think it's gonna be too long too long but nice to get out and get some hiking in and build myself back up for longer hikes and stuff since I was off from hiking a lot so all right guys I'll get back in a little bit alrighty Hey guys, Matt here. About two miles down the trail, and it's a little interesting there. Kind of in the beginning, you cut across like cow pasture, and then you head into the woods a little bit, and then a couple spots you come out like on the edge of the field a little, and then I kind of lost the lost the trail, and I figured it cut back into the woods more, so I'm walking through there and looking, and going through like swamp forest and. <laughs> Man, couldn't find it, and then it started getting deep. So I turned around and I kind of made it way back, and I made it back to kind of where I was when I lost the trail, and then I crossed the field is where the trail went, where there's lots more cows. And it was definitely interesting, but it's definitely swampy and from the storm. And it's the first time I've kind of gone through the edge of a field into the some of the woods and seeing cows like in the woods <laughs> just about <laughs> but so yeah this is interesting definitely not good conditions here's what some of the trail looks like now coming up so yeah this is definitely not a top trail that's for sure <laughs> I couldn't find it for a while and, but oh well what are you gonna do <laughs> all right guys I'll get back to you in a little bit all righty
Hey guys, Matt here. I'm about five miles down the trail and it's going pretty good. It was really bad, real bloody and stuff. And then that part of that trail come out kind of like a forest road, kind of like a dirt, grassy road. And we went down a little ways, had a couple of little loops on it, but it got down. You couldn't see the water too much from my vantage point, but it pretty much uh, comes down close to Lake Griffin, the, where the Oklawaha River empties into. And then if you hear some stuff in the background, that's the, all the people's boats going up and down. Sounds like a busy day on the river and the lake and stuff. So, so I figured I'd walk down. It was about a mile or so down this road. <clears throat> and then I just did some drone shots pretty cool you can see some of the lake and the surrounding area so that was pretty cool since we're out of come out of sunny hill a little bit where they said you weren't allowed to do drones but since this is outside of that I was able to so that was pretty nice I haven't done any drone shots for a while so but looks like this little road goes about out to the main road not too far from where I park so I'll probably just do that head out that way so so it should be added a little extra miles there you figure it's gonna be at least probably seven or eight maybe so that's a pretty good day it's been pretty nice it's warmed up a little but it's not real bad it's gonna start cooling off I think tomorrow and then next week and next weekend should be nice and cool so, so since the storm is getting away up in the northern east seaboard there it should start kicking in the lower humidities and stuff like that that was kind of a weird thing i think they said it was uh been since 1935 that a hurricane made landfall and and uh Florida in November so that's a rarity but at least there's only a couple more weeks left of hurricane season so all right guys I'll talk to you in a little bit alrighty Hey guys, Matt here. Well, I made it back. It ended up being about 7.6 miles. It took about a little th over three and a half hours. Well, overall, it was a really nice day. The trail was not in that good of conditions, but after the after the tropical storm, hurricane, and stuff coming through, I wasn't expecting it to be great. <laughs> so, but it wasn't too bad, you know. Some nice views, but it was kind of meandering through a lot of cow pastures and stuff. Some of the trails wasn't too bad, but and uh, but then, you know, the ones, the beginning wasn't, it was just mushy, but when you crossed that one field and then the other part of the trail, then it got real bad. And there was a few places, it was like almost ankle deep, but I guess considering it wasn't too bad, but and then I, did a little bit extra. I went down that road a little ways and then got some drone footage of the edge of Lake Griffin and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. Gave me a few extra miles and walked back most of the, the road there. And then on that crossover, I came back the regular trail. So, but this was uh, the Sunny Hill Restoration Area South Track here, not too far on Matella. 
here, not, and it's not too far from Ocala National Forest. So, well, as always, I thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, I'd sure love it if you hit the like button for me. And if you haven't already, I'd sure love it if you subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of stuff coming, hopefully. So, and if you have anything for me, just let me know down below in the comments. I'll make sure to get back to you. Well, this is Matt signing off. I'll see you next time. All right, thanks, guys.